Hello. What must have been the first of the molecules that have emerged and led to the formation of life as we know now and the diverse life that we know now? Whichever it is, whichever molecule it could be, it must be a molecule of information. It must be a molecule that can perform action something like that of an enzyme because every living organism should accumulate uh, energy should accumulate matter so that propagation can happen so that are two things that should be there one is to have the information which is what we are embodiment of our information of our genome the information that our genome happens and the second one is to act to be able to actively acquire energy and matter so what must must it be is it proteins proteins are very efficient ways of performing action re reactions like enzymes but they are not um, inherit they do not have inheritable information we'll take the dna they are fantastic molecules to um, have information that can be inherited but then they cannot perform action and then we have RNA we know RNA in some viruses they do act as information because because their viruses are a genome of those viruses is made up of RNA we know RNAs in terms of transcription how they are involved in uh, allowing the translation of the uh, or the expression of the genetic information in our genomes but which of these three molecules could have been the first one or the one that has led to the life that we know as of now. This is the surprising or finding now that is well established and known is if RNAs can work as enzymes. There are many examples of where RNAs work as perform important functions very much similar to that of um, uh, that of the uh, an enzyme. We have that is what we will try to discuss now. We have discussed about uh, group 2 and group 1 self-flicing um, introns, in which case they do not need any additional factors to get rid of the, I mean, to splice them or to cut themselves out and allow the splicing of the exons. So, in this case, people have designed uh, as such, uh, if if a molecule has to be an enzyme, the definition of enzyme is which should allow or catalyze the uh, reaction but should not get consumed within the reaction. In the introns that we have discussed here, we know that they do, uh, once the uh, intron is cut out and then it cannot perform any more functions because it, there is nothing else to do. Whereas, what if, if we can design something like this an artificial RN ribozyme so this is to uh, prove or kind of establish that RNA has the ability to perform some reactions at least if not as diverse reactions as proteins do proteins can perform multiple uh, can form diverse uh, shapes and and many other things because they are made up of 20 different amino acids they, their length can be huge as well so the diversity of structures they can form and because of the diversity of structures they can perform different uh, reactions rna or even dna they are just made up of four bases which would excuse me, sorry which would mean that, um, that because dna and nucleic acids are made up of four bases the diversity in terms of structure is very limited and yet rna can perform more functions uh, if we have made something like this um, say if we have designed a rna molecule something based on group one uh, splicing or group one self-splicing introns if we made a, um, a sequence like this which a ribozyme which is based on three, two different ones. One of it is uh, the, it has three components. One is the 
excuse me yeah one is the internal guide sequence uh, like is shown here and the component or the sequence of uh, self splicing group one self splicing intron which can fold itself into and then harbor a guanin or gtp like in this case so what we are trying to design is based on we have a rna molecule we want to cut it how can we cut it excuse me so if we want to have if we want rna and we want to cut here that is the reaction to be performed and can we design a, a ribozyme for it or based on ribozyme so we would be having some sequence here we could have we could sequence we could have added some uh, taken a ribozyme which is complementary to that particular target sequence because we want um, cleavage to happen in this place and that would be called as the guide sequence or internal guide sequence and we also want to activate a G uh, similar to that of the um, that of group one cell splicing introns and to make so that it can uh, it can cut here something like this if we want to uh, if we want that to happen we need this part the guanin the G that is present here so to the ribozyme we could add a sequence that uh, that will fold upon itself and where a G could be put up so and then upon the activation of GTP the 3 prime OH of G we can have cutting of this uh, place right so that is how the scientists have designed and many other types of uh, uh, things are also or ribozymes were designed <clears throat> in this case the simple why do we need the components of internal guide sequence to locate the target and we have the fold of the intron which will keep the g and then a nucleophilic attack would occur and <clears throat> we have the rna molecule that is being split into two and we have a ribosome ribozyme which did not get consumed in the process right it can act on many other molecules which have these the the sequence um, that is complementary to the internal guide sequence that we have designed and now it fits a the uh, the definition of the enzyme it is a biocatalyst in this case it is able to mediate uh, a reaction in a specific way and a sp specific reaction and it is not getting consumed within the reaction so that is an enzyme and this is how ribozymes uh, work and there are several ribozymes sorry even initially when the the world or the <coughs> nucleic acids and the origin of all the life forms we said replication should happen and people have designed um, or at least attempted to think that uh, RNA could uh, by itself fold and enhance the polymerization reactions to happen as well. And that's why the origins of our life or the first molecule is referred to as the, the RNA world where everything was performed by RNA as genetic information but also as an active process to carry out reactions so that it can multiply. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.